All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. I want to say thank you so much to all the new subscribers that have joined on, and it's just been an absolute blessing. Um, I'm going to be creating new content daily, or not daily, maybe like three times a week to be realistic, because um, I work full-time job as a network engineer, so I want to kind of balance that out all together. So uh, with that being said, I just want to say thank you guys so much, and I'm going to be creating content on CCNA-related topics, network engineering, the day in the life, everything that's it, when it comes to how to become a network engineer, anything, any questions you guys got, leave them in the comments. I'll kind of go over that. But overall, um, I just want to go ahead and just say thank you guys to everyone for, for tuning in. So with that being said, the topic of this video is why choose network engineering out of all the paths in IT. And as you guys probably know, in IT, there's like, it's like a, it's like an ocean, right? You guys go in and you guys see so much things that you can possibly get into. And you're just like, what should I do? I mean, there's cloud, there's there's network engineering, there's software engineering, there's cloud. I mean, there's there's such a there's a big amount of like paths you can get into, and I just don't want you guys getting stuck on and like debating on what you guys should do because, truthfully for me, um, the thing that I actually that I'm really proud about myself is I kind of just stuck through one path. Although I did have some hiccups where I was like, maybe I should be a software engineer, maybe I should get into cloud. But overall, the best method that you could possibly do when it comes to picking a path is just picking one path and sticking to it. Um, there is no wrong path, although there are some better paths than others, I'll be honest. But the wrong path to do is to say, hey, I'm going to be a software engineer. And then you you stick with it for three or four months. You know, you learn the code, you learn CSS, you learn Java, and then you, you, you kind of get in the groove on. And then all of a sudden you see someone else, um, you know, get into cloud or get into cybersecurity. Like, this is very interesting. This is like intriguing your interest. Maybe like you go through a YouTube video or you go through TikTok or wherever you find someone. And then you see like, oh. They're making good money doing this, or this looks very interesting. And then you ended up, you know, doing, you know, falling for the trap of like, okay, let me jump ship off what you've been doing er earlier, which is like software engineering. When you like maybe fall through a hiccup or whatever reason you, you, you jump off and then you end up going to, you know, a path like cloud. Now you're starting from ground zero again, right? You were in ground zero as a software engineer four months prior, but now you're going back to your old paths and it's, 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 it's such a, it's such a mistake that a lot of people make. And I have a lot of friends who are, you know, trying to become data analysts. And then like two months later, they're trying to be a software engineer. And then later on, they're trying to get into cybersecurity. I'm like, that's the worst possible things you could guys could possibly ever do is, you know, jumping ship from path to path to path to path. So with that being said, I just want you guys to know is the best method or the best path to take is the path you choose. Okay, stop overthinking it. Stop worrying about AI. Stop watching videos of people trying to scare you. Just pick a damn path and stick to it. That's all you have to do. So with that being said, um, why did I choose network engineering? Um, first of all, I did have an uncle who was a network engineer and he kind of like showed me the path and explained to me like what he does on a day-to-day -day basis. And that was, uh, that was a bit interesting to me because during this time, I don't know if you guys noticed, but network engineering is such a, a low-key industry, right? It's not something that's very you know, uh, popular as like software engineering, cybersecurity, where everyone's talking about it. Hey, look at me, I'm a software engineer working from home. Um, it's a very low key industry and it's an industry that's been around for a very long time, even longer than software engineering, in fact. Uh, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But um, if you think about it, what does a network engineer do? We basically make sure the world is connected, as simple as that. So companies like Facebook, Netflix, they all need connection to the world. They have multiple users. You got people who have internet providers like like Comcast or Spectrum where um, you have home internet. So, you know, you connect your internet to like your router and you have internet at your house. Uh, some of the stuff that you don't really don't think about is, you know, there's a lot that goes into into that. I mean, there's like pop routers. There's a bunch. There's a lot that goes in and people don't see the behind the scenes. It's, it's a very low key industry about that. Like when it comes to software engineering. You can physically see it, right? And, and you, most people have no know what coding is. Like it's very like popular nowadays, and you've probably seen it ever all over, right? Um, using the internet, you're on your website, you're playing a game. All that is code, right? Um, but to make the code work and to connect people with all, like if you wanna, if you're playing a multiplayer match on the internet, um, you need network engineers to make sure that the two paths, like the gamer A and gamer B, let's say they're playing a game of FIFA. Um, you want to make sure they're both connected. And the only way to do that is to have network engineers, you know, and obviously there's a lot more that goes into it, right? I mean, there's like, if you go through the OSI model, there's there's a lot more. But with that being said, um, I just, you know, had a fascination about that. And I, you know, I've, you know, I've grown up with the internet and I've experienced it and I've enjoyed it. So I just want people to know that 
I, that's the main reason why I got it. It's just it's just the, the mystique of it, the interest of it, and there's a lot that goes into it. I mean, you can work in like airline Wi-Fi, you can work like cruise ships, like every the whole world needs to be connected. And the, as more people get on online, which is, I think it's almost like 80% of the world right now has like fast internet at this point. So, um, you know, making the internet faster, obviously with Starlink, with um, with Elon Musk, where he's trying to make like satellite internet to like areas where there's just no broadband connection over there. I um, mean, there's a lot, this industry is growing and it's only going to get bigger. So that's one of the reasons why I got in. Um, I, but I, like I said, I didn't have hiccups. I, at a time I wanted to be like a software engineer. However, um, you know, I had a couple of friends who were doing it, but I realized I'm not the type of person who loves to code all day. I mean, I, I mean, obviously as a network engineer, you might do some coding, um, but on the day to day, you're not really doing that much coding at all. If not, it's almost, almost code that's already been made. And you're just like maybe changing a few things, but I never really liked coding at all. Um, uh, although I do still kind of code a little bit. Um, but with that being said, um, I looked at software engineering, I looked into cloud, um, but networking is almost the baseline, the, the fundamentals when it comes to the internet, right? And when it comes to anything it related, um, it's the baseline. So if you can understand networking concepts, which most people don't really understand, like they'll probably jump into software engineering, but they really don't know how the internet works or they'll jump into the cloud. They have no idea what, how networking works. Networking is really the baseline, like the fundamental. It's like the number one thing that almost everyone in IT should understand as a baseline because it's it's such a powerful and, under, and a tool for people to, to, to understand. And um, I'm glad that I fell into this path because it's just, uh, it's a wonderful tool. And, and with that being said, obviously I mentioned like jumping around is not the best thing to do, but I just want you guys to remember um, as a networking leader, you don't have to stay in your path for too long. I just, what I'm saying is don't jump into paths in the beginning. Stick with it for maybe two, three years or four or five or whatever, and then you can jump into whatever path. For example, in my case, I was a network engineer. Um, as a network engineer, it's basically the baseline, and you can jump into any path from there. So from as a network engineer, you can jo go into cloud. You can go into cybersecurity, of course, because cybersecurity, there's a lot of networking concepts that are involved in there. You could jump into um, automation, right? Networking, uh, network automation, which is also like a form of software engineering. So there's multiple paths you guys can jump into. Um, the, the, the thing I like about network engineering, it's the baseline, it's, it's self static. And I like to call it like the blue collar of the internet or blue collar of it in a way, because if you, if you actually think about it, we're the ones who are actually in the field, making things work. Cause as a network engineer, sometimes you might have to go into the field or you might have someone, um, you know, be your hands and ears at the field for you. Um, you know, you're physically touching wires, you know, you're physically connecting them. You're making sure it's like, it's like being an electrician in a way, but for the internet, that's the really cool thing about it. So. Um, overall, I do love the industry. It's such a cool industry. And um, if you guys are interested in network engineering concepts, just let me know. And we're going to be making more videos day by day by day. Because um, I really want to make content for this kind of subject. Because it's when I first got started, there really wasn't much people talking about it. I mean, there was a few, but it wasn't like anything crazy. So I just want to, you know, be the person who can help people, you know, guide them in the industry they want to get into and you go from there. But, uh, Thank you guys for tuning in and i want to say thank you guys to all the new subscribers and we'll be making content i really want to shoot for about three videos a week uh, at most but i mean i'll try my best but obviously uh, if we'll see how things go but uh thank you guys for tuning in and uh peace